I chose to go into ENT because it really covers everything about medicine. Not only that, you're dealing with uh, very vital aspects for quality of life, uh, airway, breathing, swallowing, voice, the ability to communicate, to hear, to smell, to taste. All of these things are encompassed in ENT. So I ended up gravitating towards voice and throat issues. I just felt that uh, people that had voice problems that often impacted them emotionally and physically as well as their ability to work. Similar to a lot of problems in ENT, it's both medical and surgical management. So oftentimes if we can see a patient who has a vocal nodules or something, typically the treatment really is behavioral therapy with a speech language pathologist who has some expertise in voice therapy. On the flip side, if we have a vocal polyp or an early cancer, then we typically get a diagnosis uh, in the operating room by removal of the lesion. Here at Upstate, we have the state-of-the-art equipment to make that diagnosis. We also have moved on to doing a lot of in-office procedures. So unlike anywhere else in central New York, there are some times that we can treat people in the office with, say, a laser removal of a lesion uh, or an injection of their vocal cord to reposition it to improve their voice. Typically, patients uh, will be sent in through another physician. In other words, if there's a surgeon that has a patient who has a voice problem will get a referral from the surgeon. Uh, if a neurologist happens to have a patient with a vocal tremor, they'll uh, send in a referral for that. Similarly, all the way down to primary care and pediatricians. The most rewarding thing in working with patients that have voice problem is that a vast majority get better. And with that, they have an improvement in their quality of life.